here we go with this worksheet. Here's the first part of it. Um, what you need to remember with a parallel circuit is this. Any time you have voltage, it will always be parallel, or anything in, in parallel will be the same voltage. So, if I say that um, the power supply is going to be 6 volts, so if this is 6 volts here, then there's going to be 6 volts across this resistor and 6 volts across that resistor. Always, 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 because they're in parallel. So, how much current is going to run through there? Well, if I want to know how much current is running through here, I'm just going to do Ohm's Law, V equals IR. All right? And so V equals IR can work for an entire circuit or just one resistor. So when I do my 6 volts divided by my 2 ohms, I am going to get a current of 3 amps running through this resistor. Now, same thing here, right? Same voltage, same resistance. So we're going to get 3 amps going through here as well. So we have 3 amps and 3 amps, and they're going to meet up over here. Remember that current's going to leave the battery. Okay, it's going to get split here, and they're going to come back together over here. So when they meet back together again, they will be 6 amps once again. Okay? All right, so first one, by Ohm's Law, the current each resistor. Well, we just did Ohm's Law, 6 divided by 2. The answer is 3. Okay? All right, so we follow this diagram. And like I just said, you're going to have 6 volts or 6 amps leaving here. Another way of remembering is, okay, I have 3 amps going across this resistor. I have 3 amps going across that resistor. You don't lose current when you go through a resistor. You lose voltage. So the 3 stays here. The 3 stays there. There's still no splitting, so the 3 stays here. Here is where the 2 meet. So 3 amps here and 3 amps there are going to meet and get you a total current of 6 amps. Coming along here, there's no bend or there's no uh, splits, so that's 6 amps as well. Okay? And that should be 3 over here as well. So there you go. The total current running through the battery is going to be 6 amps. All right, there you go. And we will have other videos for the other parts. parts.